Veterinary Dermatology The Causes and Diagnosis of Alopecia in Dogs Special thanks to Dr. Saklane Mancha and the Vet Video Library for collaborating in the creation of this video. It's normal for your canine companion to shed hair, sometimes lots of it. What isn't routine is for that shedding to result in noticeable bald spots on your dog. It's so easy to subscribe kindly hit the subscribe button and get early access to our upcoming wonderful videos. But on other hand, it can be quite worrying if you notice that your dog seems to be losing lot of their lovely coat. Alopecia in dogs can be the result of skin infections such as ringworm, a fungal infection, a bacterial infection or parasites such as mites, and is often the result of the dog scratching or licking an itchy or sore area. Alopecia in dogs can affect all breeds and genders at any stage of their life. It's a fairly common condition and can display as either partial or complete hair loss, but it can also affect your dog's skin, endocrine, lymphatic and immune systems. Luckily, alopecia in dogs is usually easily treatable and an appointment to the vet should help to find the origin of the problem and allow you to find a proper treatment to get your dog back to their usual, gorgeous selves. Causes of hair loss in dogs. The most common causes of hair loss in dogs include mange, an occurrence caused by the mite, demodex, a disruption in the growth of hair follicles caused by trauma, infection, immune disease or endocrine system abnormalities hair follicle irritation allergic reactions this may be to food or items in your dog's environment diet and feeding poor diet can often be a cause of hair loss in dogs parasites and fleas these can cause intense itching and you may notice your dog losing hair around their lower back inner thighs neck and ears bacterial skin infections or hot spots ringworm if the cause is ringworm, it will typically show as circular patches of flaky, red, hairless patches. Overgrooming. Grooming is obviously normal, but sometimes dogs may do it excessively due to stress or pain. Seasonal alopecia. Some dogs may experience hair loss each autumn which may take around 6 to 12 months to regrow. This type is most common in boxers, bulldogs, dobermans and staffordshire bull terriers. Inherited. Alopecia in dogs can be genetic if your dog's mother or father suffered from it. More widespread hair loss in your dog's coat may indicate a more specific illness, so it's always important to see your vet as soon as you suspect your dog may be losing their fur. Symptoms of alopecia in dogs. If you notice your dog losing hair, that can be a symptom of alopecia in itself, but there are also a few other signs they may display too, brittle or dry coat. Shedding more than usual bald patches on your dog, crusting, inflammation or red patches around the area of hair loss, scaly skin may be present, dandruff, itchy skin, overgrooming, patches of dark skin, diagnosing hair loss in dogs. Your vet will need to look for the cause of the alopecia before they can start treating it. Fleas are a collective cause of itchiness and scratching, which can result in hair loss, so they might recommend a flea treatment. Your vet might also take samples of hair or scrape a little sample of skin, painlessly, to test for ringworm and parasites, or take a blood sample to check for any underlying disease, such as a hormonal problem. Sometimes a skin allergy test will be performed, and occasionally a small skin sample will be taken. This is done under anesthetic, so your dog won't feel a thing. Treatment for dog alopecia. All dogs should be given regular flea control treatments, but your vet might recommend other treatments if they think another cause is to blame, such as an antifungal treatment for ringworm. Some causes of hair loss, such as allergic skin disease and other dog skin conditions, can be challenging to treat, but a veterinary dermatologist will be able to give you all the advice you need. Other causes, like hormonal conditions such as an underactive thyroid or adrenal gland problems, may require longer-term treatment. Speak to your vet as soon as you suspect that your pet may be suffering with dog alopecia. The sooner you can get a diagnosis, the sooner your pet can be successfully treated and happy and healthy once more. Hopefully you've found a possible answer to why your dog's losing hair. Dr. Jose Fenech. Veterinary Channel. Veterinary Dermatology. The causes and diagnosis of alopecia in dogs. Hair loss in dogs.